Welcome back to another Rose City Reptiles video. As you guys can see from the thumbnail and title, we do have some news that I want to share with you all. Um, some unfortunate news, something that happened during brumation, during a routine check. Um, I did discover that Bloodbath had passed away. I mean, it, it's I, I, it's crazy to even say it, you know, that Bloodbath is no longer here with us. And as you're going to see in this video, um, as we unboxed everyone, we did find another very special Tegu that had passed away as well. So we've lost two incredible special Tegus uh, this season. And um, so yeah. Just wanted to uh, update everybody on that because both of these tegus would be tegus that you would definitely miss in today's video and you would recognize that they were not here. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to address that right at the beginning and get that out of the way. <laughs> and um, on a brighter side of things, I very fortunately, so happy I did, we kept two females from Crime Scene and Bloodbath. I'm holding one of them right now. Um, so if you guys can help me pick out names for them, I would like some names that would represent Bloodbath and her legacy that these two get to carry on here at Rose City Reptiles. So help me out down in the comments. Let's Let's name this beautiful girl and her sister. So I need two names for them. But I'm sorry to hit y'all with this news. Um, it's it is it's so sad. But Bloodbath was buried at one of our fruit trees, and she'll live on through that way, and also through her daughter. So. I know we're starting off with some sad news, but this video really isn't a sad video. This is an, an uplifting video. It's a happy video about the start of the 2024 season. And thank you guys for being here. Let's get into today's video. Today is a very exciting day here at Rose City Reptiles. We move all of the tegus outside which means time to get them all down from the loft and check on them after six months of no food no water okay we're in the reptile room now in case you guys don't know my tegu's brewmate up here in this loft <laughs> We got plague right here. Should we peek? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, big boy. Hey, big boy. Okay. We'll see more of him later. So, lots of tubs behind me, lots of tegus that were looking incredible, um, but we did have a little bit of loss. One ex very special, special, special male, one of my favorites. So, and we lost him. He won't be with us this season. So, man. So, uh, you got to think about it with Hector's tegus. This is their first time experiencing brumation the way I do it. In South Florida, their brumation is a lot shorter than it is here in Texas. I knew going into it that you know I was a little bit more worried about them um, because because it's their first year. So there's a lot of good. There's a little bit bad. That's Definitely something I've got to get used to, like that male not being part of this lineup. I'm sad to see him go. He was super friendly, easy to hold, like everything about him was 
perfect. He was perfect. I do have his son who is incredible. He's going to be just like his dad. So I'm going to show him later. We're going to be moving him outside later. He's an incredible young blue male. So, um, but, but yeah, so rest in peace to blue male J. Yeah, I'm going to let that sink in today, but right now we're going to, we're going to go through and I'm going to organize these tegus and get them ready to move them outside. So this is for a tegu keeper. Today is a bigger day than Christmas, a bigger day than your birthday, a bigger day than your child being born. Wait, no. Yeah, okay. But today's a, a really big day, a super special day of getting these tegus outside. Okay. I'm pumped. I can't wait to see them out there. Okay, so got my nephew outside, getting enclosures ready. I'm in here and I'm gonna start getting everyone organized. I can hear him starting to scratch at the tubs. That's because up there it was about 58 to 60 degrees and down here it's 75. So they're gonna start waking up. So I need to start getting them together. Okay, we're gonna get the albinos right here. Yeah, I can keep track of where I put them. Look at this girl. Perfect. Flawless. Flawless. And blue males. Females. Albinos. And then we've got groups over here. All right, so we got blue females. We've got albinos, which are also blues. We've got tubs that have multiple, so males and females, blues. We got hybrids, black and whites, males, blue males, blue male, right here. And then we have Black and whites, that includes Chicoans and high blacks. And then we have reds, that includes red albinos and anneries. So we got everybody kind of organized in stacks. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of time, figure out where I wanna place everybody outside. Enclosure placement, location, sun. There's a lot of things going through my head whenever I'm figuring all that out. So I'm gonna go figure that out. And then we're gonna start moving these babies outside today and hopefully we get some sun but all right let's do it all right y'all come in close here you ready here we go oh my god stunner absolutely gorgeous let's get her out let's get her out of there she has not been outside in six months Literally, you wouldn't know a difference. Like, perfect. This is exactly what you want to see. Stunning, stunning female. We're definitely producing some absolute fire this year. Wow. And she's going to go in this enclosure here. Beautiful. Oh. All right. Now, come get, look at the tag on this one. Top notch. You don't just write top notch on anything. She is top notch. You ready? Oh, she's beautiful. This one is one of my favorites. Golly, she is insane. Still got her eyes closed. Just sleeping away in that box, but gorgeous. It's time to wake up. <laughs> Look at that. What a beautiful girl. She's realizing like, wait, what's happening? <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. There you go. So nice. All right, we're gonna put her in here. She doesn't get too freaked out. Some of you click this video just for this. You ready? So 
up, dude? And if you don't know who this is, I'll let you know. This is the one and only crime scene. One of the biggest and baddest red tegus on the planet. Oh, wow. All right, blue female right here. This is definitely one of my favorite ones and it's going to produce this year with an insane blue male. And this female is, not only is she blue, but she's actually like the most beautiful hue of blue that there is, especially after she sheds. So, her in her winter coat, here she is. I don't know if the camera shows it. I know it doesn't show it all the way, but I'm sure it's showing it some. Just insanely beautiful. I love her, the blue coloring she has. Stunning female. Wait till you see the male that we're gonna pair her with. But she's going in right now. All right, next one. Here we go. We got two in here. Two beauties. These blues are small, you guys, and I'm gonna continue having some lines of smaller blues. This is a full grown adult female. And you can just see, one, she's just gorgeous, but two, she's a really manageable size. We had so many people wanting to get tegus that would stay smaller. So we've, we're gonna have several clutches that are focused on that. Nice small females. We have some females even smaller than this and males. So we're gonna continue with those, but this enclosure is gonna be one of those smaller groups. One more, she's so pretty too. Once that shed comes off. Right there on their brand new stump. Take a look at that. All right, very special take you next. Marcel, incredible girl here. Wakes up just looking incredible. Look at that. What a beauty. High black female. You know what we're doing with her this year. Taking her straight to plague. Do it again. Why not? Amazing. All right. Got her in this beautiful enclosure. This is group A. So blue male one, blue female one, blue female two. I'm gonna keep them together as a trio. They are also bred for that smaller size. Let's get them out so I can show you. I cannot believe how beautiful their babies turned out. The best blue tegus I've ever produced were these ones babies last season. This season, we're gonna go even harder. But last season, these, these are the parents to the best blues I've produced. Top notch. I mean, the blues I produced last season, blew my mind. I'm like, I can't believe that baby came from this yard. So shout out to Hector, but here we go. Another stunning group. Look at this boy. Oh, what a beast. He's got some battle scars. He is absolutely gorgeous. What's up, dude? This is gonna be his spot. All right. Got two females in here. Both of them on the smaller side. Not super small, but definitely on the smaller side of things. Like look at this girl. She's tiny. Full grown. Let's do it. Got this beautiful tribrid. Look at her. So nice. No 
going in here. Her and mango. Mango, he produced for us last year for the first time. Some beautiful babies with Pixie. I'm excited to see what we can do this year with him. But he loves this enclosure. He used all of it climbing all around, so I'm gonna put him back in here. All right, top-notch female, one of my favorites. Sad to say that who we bred her with last year has passed away. He was an incredible male. So I have new plans for her this season. You can, she is S tier quality blue tegu. I mean, she is incredible. She produced last year. This is our group J female. Produced some incredible blue tegus. I know my keeper boy is from her. And I'm gonna put her in here and I'm gonna show you guys later what I have planned for her. It's gonna be incredible, so. All right, beautiful tribrid female here. This is who we bred to Mango. This is Pixel. Pixel, yeah, this is Pixel here. Stunning female, nice high white. Put her in. Who knows who this one is? That's Vanessa. Blue ice, beautiful female, produces great every year. Doesn't like other tegus very much. So she's a little tricky, but it's worth it. Got Panther. She's going in next. Chickens? All right, Panther's going in next. Beautiful black nosed female. Let's get her in here. All right, this male here, this is the male that's going to take blue tegus to the next level worldwide. I know that's a big statement, but he is, uh, this blue male is exceptional. Right now, he's gonna look good, but in a month, he's going to, he's, he makes all brain activity just stop. Like, last year I'd walk by his cage and just be like, why is that? Like, the bluest of the blue. Okay, so, this, he's insane, and the two females I'm putting him with are, just out of this world. There are things that I didn't know blue tegus could look like this. So, and again, this is Hector's hard work. This is all him, and I'm just trying to keep it going. And this year, we're gonna get this male to breed with the two females I've selected for him, and those blue tegus will be on an, a whole different, a whole different level. So, here he is, like I said, He's looking good, but nothing, when he gets in breeding mode, that blue, it's crazy, insane. So, and I've got him with some top tier females. I can't wait. I literally can't wait to see these babies hatch out. They are going to be crazy. So here he is, I'm adding him in. One of his beautiful, beautiful females is right there. Another one's in the hide. This is one of the enclosures I will definitely have my eye on all season long. Oh my God, he is incredible. And just wait till he's shedding. Be looking for that video. All right, up next. Plague Sun. This is Crow, looking so impressive, looking so good after six months, no food or water. I love this tegu. Man, I, something about those black scales on his head. Just amazing. Check that out. <laughs> what a cool tegu going in to his big old home here. 
here one of our smaller blues for a blue male this is a pretty small tegu but not lacking in any color <laughs> it's just a little bit smaller than what you typically see good size putting them in with those smaller females that we've seen oh sorry buddy all right <laughs> but yeah beautiful boy going in with some incredible females, hopefully to make some magic. All right, one of the most special tegus in my collection, even though he doesn't produce very well. Payload, I love him. He's my friend, but you know, he doesn't always, uh, he has never been that great of a breeder but he's he's pretty amazing especially when he sheds and some of you people out there who do have a baby from him you know how special it is all right he's going in with penny yeah all right we got a beautiful male going in here This guy is so blue when the time is right. But look at this gorgeous male. I love this boy. Oh. Definitely hooking him up with a couple fine ladies. A couple fine specimens here. Watch out for the ants. Let's go ahead and set this in here. All right. Here's one of them. Beautiful female with some really nice blue going in here. And one more. Really nice girl here. Right on their new stump. The stump is nice and dark. It's going to get really, really warm for them. Let's go ahead and give it some straw. They're ready to go. All right, we're doing our black and whites now. We got this girl, Scar, waking up, getting moved in. Each black and white, I go ahead and just set, put them in their own enclosures, except for the male. I put him with one female and then rotate him. All right. We got Widow here. She is our biggest producer. She's laid the biggest clutch I've ever gotten. Which, I'm trying to remember how many eggs that was. It 70 or 69? It was like 68 or 9. It's crazy, but but I think the last year I got 60 eggs from her. And she is huge. See, compare that to some of those blues you've seen in today's video. She is a gigantic girl. All right, get some more black and whites. We got Rosie here. She is stunning. Really dark female. We're gonna put her in with Thor. Start them off together. Look at that. <sighs> wow. I wish all of you guys could just come here and look in his eyes. What a, he's got a certain presence about him. <laughs> this dude is tough. He is pretty impressive. What an impressive tiger here. Beautiful. Argentine black and white tegu is probably the first tegu all of us heard about. Here they go. Going in. 
Okay. We got some chicken eggs in here. Oh. Wanna go get some? That's chicken eggs. See them all the way back there. Get them, Wesley. Maybe you can hand them to Michelle. Michelle, you hand them back here. Let's see. Perfect. Oh yeah. So I left all the tegu enclosures open all winter so that pine needles and leaves can fall into them. But we found out today that the chickens have been going in the some of the enclosures and laying eggs. And so I'm curious how many eggs we end up collecting today. First egg hunt of the year is already here. All right, 21 eggs found inside of Raven's enclosure. Now we're gonna get Raven and put her in it. Oh, baby. What a amazing Tegu. We're gonna put her in here. And because we found the eggs in her enclosure, we'll leave her a couple. There you go. All right. We got some amazing female here. Stunning blue albino. What a beauty. Beautiful Tegu going into a beautiful enclosure. I love this stump. Perfect size for them to lay their body all the way across it. We've got one more going in there with her. You talk about a gorgeous tegu. How beautiful is she? Six months, no food, no water. They come out looking like that. It's amazing. All right, special one. The time has come. You guys ready? Here we go. The man, the myth, the legend, the plague. What's up, dude? Now this is an incredible take you right here. I am so happy to have him back outside. Oh. Look at this amazing dude. Yeah, come on. Get him. I mean, do I need to say anything? We got hey. some beauties here. Hey. No, I hey. Oh, hey. Alright. Next two blues going in. So nice. Look, you can see this guy's missing his fork. See that? Sometimes that can happen. But here we go. We've got this beautiful female who actually fits in with them perfectly. But she's not sure what's going on right now. She just knows she was in a dark box for six months and now she's outside. So. But one thing I want to mention, you guys see me putting tegus together. A lot of you guys want to be tegu breeders. Just know, I'm not putting these, it's not like you can just like set it and forget it. Once you put your tegus together like I'm doing today, it takes a lot of observation to do this safely. So I will be out here till the end of tegu season, <laughs> keeping an eye on things, separating tegus. And you can see how many extra cages we have got more over there we have a lot of extra space i have enough cages to where every tegu can be in their own enclosure and that is crucial so i don't want you guys seeing me putting these tegus together thinking that you can just put some tegus together they breed they lay eggs and you're just back observing them no you are hands-on you got to separate them you've got to that's a big thing you have to be moving them around 
keeping an eye on things because things can change in an instant, especially when you're dealing with a tegu who's ovulating, going through these hormonal changes. At any moment, a female can decide, hey, I want this space to myself. And anyone here is going to die. Like they can literally decide that. As the keeper, you have to be looking for those things, knowing what those, those signs look like when a female wants to be alone, knowing the right timing and learning how each one of these tegus has their own pattern, their own thing that they do when they become gravid or just, it's a lot to keep up with, but it's, yeah, it's not like I can just put them in here and I can just keep three tegus together easily. It's, it's not that easy. It's, it's not like that. So, so just know that if you're getting into this, having extra space, lots of extra cages, that is what you need to breed tegus take you successfully. So they need their space. Okay, another top-notch female. I just spent like 15 minutes in the shed trying to decide what I wanted to do with her. She did not produce last year. I believe she's het for albino, so I've got some plans. But here she is. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Literally one of the best females here. I feel like every tegu I'm touching, I might say that with, but. I mean, look at this girl. <sighs> Woo! <-hoo -hoo. laughs> Stunning, stunning. So I'm putting her with an albino male who's also very beautiful. And that's what I'm gonna do with her. We're gonna, oh, oh, and she's gone. <laughs> that's the plan. We're gonna put her with the albino and produce some albinos. We'll, f we'll find out if she's het, but we'll definitely get some beautiful babies from her this season. Beautiful Annery boy. Look at those um, insane eyes. I love those eyes. Beautiful. We produced some Anneries last year for the first time, and we're gonna do it again. But here he is going into his big boy enclosure right there. There she is. Beautiful Annery girl. <laughs> she still has dirt on her. I remember putting her in brumation. I had to like dig her up from the enclosure and literally the dirt on her is from this enclosure. She's going right back where she came from. This was, this is where she laid eggs last year. We got two OGs of the channel. If you've been around at all, then you will be happy to see Topaz and Shakira coming out of brumation. This boy, he was the MVP for me for many seasons. At one point, he was my only blue male that I had. So this guy has been around from the start. I'm so happy to still have him and we're still using him in our breedings. So that's Topaz going in here and going in with him. Will not be a surprise to many of you, but it's the one and only the very beautiful Shakira. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Pure blue albino. Had her for several years now. And yeah, her and Topaz, they do some magic. They produce some beautiful babies. So let's get her in here. We've got Topaz next to these beautiful blues. He's in here with, he's gonna have a fine season, I promise you. All right, very special tegu here, joining the male line, because he is a big boy. He's still pretty young, but he's big and amazing. Albino red tegu right here. Look at this amazing thing here, <laughs> incredible. So yeah, super excited. If there's any tegu here that I'm excited to see shed, it's gotta be the albino red. Let me go in here. So yeah, this is gonna be his spot. I think he's gonna like it. And we need to get him a female. When he sheds, you know I'm gonna capture that. 
it's gonna be insane. All right, working out the next group of blues. Been in the shed trying to think it through about what we want to pair up. Woo, baby. So beautiful girl here. Just a stunning blue who is also het for albino. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> They're a little cold, so they don't have the best graceful movement right now. All right, next one. This is the boy that's gonna be with him. He is a stunner. Some really nice blues on him. And he's also het for albino. So these will produce albinos. But check out this enclosure. This is not, this is beautiful. I love all the chickweed that's growing. They're gonna like that too. And the females will use all of that to build their nest. It'd be perfect. All right, we're gonna grab one more to put in here. This is amazing coming out here and seeing tegus in enclosures. <laughs> it's been six months. It is so amazing. All right, next one to go in here. I'm gonna open it down here. Move your tail, mister. Okay, this female's always been kind of like this, pretty shy, a little nervous. She's dark, but with that darkness comes some Calm down, calm down. Some incredible blues. I mean, this girl is so cool. 100% head for albino. We're gonna give her some space. Let me give them some of this. All right, this is one of my OG tegus. I've had this one since it was a baby. She is my first tegu I ever produced with. So. And it's Ryder, in case you're wondering. And she always hates me at the beginning of the year. Like whenever I pull her out, she just does not like this at all. But here she is. Okay, okay, I feel her building up. <laughs> I'm gonna set her right there. Chill, chill. I forgot you need your straw. All right. See if I can get out without. Here, I'm just, I'm just walking past you. I'm just walking. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> she, she does not like me right now. OG Tegu, one of the favorites. Here he is. Incredible Tegu here. Oh my! Look at that deep coloration like his red has turned into such a beautiful color like just yeah amazing he got better and better he gets better every year even now with the age that he is amazing but let's take him across here get this boy next one we all love Oddball Red. <laughs> crazy, crazy looking red tegu right here. Pure red. Very strange looking. Going in here. Another group set up. <sighs> She's got a cool look to her. Beautiful female. Really nice blues. Later on in the season, she'll definitely be showing those. Let's get her added. All right, we got another one here. Beautiful. So nice. This girl produced for us last year. Small clutch, but we'll take it. She is so pretty. Put him right on that warm stump. Now let's go get their mail. Let's get them. Beautiful boy. Definitely not as small as some of those other boys that we have. This guy's got some decent size to him. More of a typical blue tegu size. 
Lots of blue on him. Love his bars. He's perfect. He's going in. Make it happen. Make it happen, broski. All right, y'all pay attention. I'm about to open a tub of juveniles. These tegus in here are amazing, but we're gonna move fast, so don't blink. Here we go. <laughs> we're moving fast. Oh baby, we're kind of matching. <laughs> oh my gosh, beauty. Okay, okay, we're moving. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, all right, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit, all right, all right. He's going in. This girl. Here we go. Done. 